lost their jobs and their families and their children and their lives because people find out about their kink life. Do you get nervous about that? Like losing your job or losing things like that? People's safety depends on it. So if, if a handler is sexually attracted to their pup, do people think that then they're sexually attracted to real dogs? Boys. Yeah, good boy. He's so good. Like, I, just, I just hold the hood up and he shoves his face in it. Is your puppy an age? Like puppy? It's a teenage puppy. <laughs> I can't even begin to think how my parents would respond if I told them that. But my love for bio dogs just transferred right over to human dogs. Can we talk about you telling your family that you were a pup and how they reacted? How are you? Hi, nice to meet you. Hug. I would love a hug. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. I I'm like a mustache. Thank you. That's new. Uh, yeah, because I dye it. <laughs> oh, I love it. It looks cute. Um, you know, transmasculine, so it's still like like very light. So I just dye it. No, it looks but, yeah. great. Thanks, I appreciate it. Yes. This is my goddess Rachel. Hi. Not nice to meet you. I'm also a hugger. Me too. Thank yeah. you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, Come you're both so in. warm. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yes, warm energy. I love it. Yeah, we are setting, getting set up. Yeah, we're still getting. Since we just got here. I'm That's so crazy. excited. <laughs> what is that? It's a shock mat to keep the cats off the couch. Oh. oh. Like to train okay. them? Oh, and you- Yeah, I so always try and get it and then I run away. Because it beeps piece. first. Oh, okay. And then if they stay on it, it'll shock them. The cats have never been shocked because the beep scares them. Like you're talking about like real animal, or like ca cats? I have, or like I have bio cats. cats. Oh, okay. Bi I have bio cats. But yeah. also it's just also for me. <laughs> So it's called bio cats. Bio yeah. cats are like bio dogs. It's like real cats or real dogs. Yeah. I don't like saying real dogs because I don't know. I feel like I can mess with someone's face. I'm a real. I'm a real exactly. Dog. Yeah. He's a real dog. I, I, I dog. love it. Thank you, Garnet, for doing this. Yes, of course. I'm so excited. You have no idea. I w I'm so excited. I'm fascinated with this, like your life. I know that, like in kink lifestyles, I think people, rightfully so, are nervous to put their life on the internet because a lot of times. You know, people like me spin it and make it seem like it's something that it's not. And so I, it just means a lot that you trust me with your story. Yeah, absolutely. I thank you for recognizing that too, because we've had to keep things close to us because people have lost their jobs and their families and their children and their lives because people find out about like their kink life and what they like to do behind closed doors or even like their lifestyles. Do you get nervous about that? Like losing your job or losing things like that? I definitely have been, of course. What I have done personally to kind of help to have that not so much be the case is that I've just been open with it. My family knows, our friends know, her family knows, her friends know, um, my job knows. There's no way where I could feel, I guess, um, too embarrassed or too attacked by it because this is who I am and I've made it a part of my life. Feel how you want to feel. I'm a part of the BDSM scene, I'm a part of the role play scene, alternative lifestyles, and I'm very proud of it and I love it. You're in a relationship? Yes. Okay. So Rachel is a lesbian and I am like a queer, masculine, identifying individual, like man, seen by a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, we're both in like primary relationships outside of each other. Rachel and I's relationship is not sexual inherently between like the two of us at all. What I really love is just being her dog. Um, like wholesome shit. Like, like wholesome, yeah, yeah really what like we've been interested in. Yeah, dog owner. Yeah. Wow. Kind of like, we've kind of been interested in kind of like the Disney movie-esque mix with BDSM. <laughs> Girl in her golden retriever, sort of a, sort of a vibe. So often in BDSM relationships, they'll make contracts uh, between each party to kind of ideal what you want your relationship to look like. And you can renew them, you can update them, you can sign them. I feel like there should be contracts in every relationship because it's nice <laughs> to just like know what you're looking for and what you want and like we agree on this and that seems really healthy. The BDSM community is very thoughtful. Yes. Because yeah, everything you do needs to be done with enthusiastic consent by every single party. And trust. And trust, absolutely. That's definitely what it's a part of. Yeah. You're trusting someone with like, you're like, I guess like the smallest, um, valuable part of you mm. that you don't share with a lot of people. Do you think a lot of people that find out that you are a pup just automatically think it's sexual? Yes. My personal pet play is not always sexual. Most of the time it's not gonna be sexual. 90% of the time it's probably not sexual. There are moments when it is, but it's usually not. And so usually when I have those problems is when people are trying to like initiate things with me. And that's when I'm usually saying, oh no, I'm actually not 
as sexual. I'm not a very sexual player. I completely understand how other people would want to be sexual with it, and that's very understandable. It's also very sexy, but it's not usually my thing, personally. So if someone, and I'm not meaning to be offensive at all, but no. so if, if a handler is sexually attracted to their pup, yes. do people think that then they're sexually attracted to bio dogs? Yes, some people do. It needs to be known that there is a difference because you can be attracted to an animal and be like, okay, I'm attracted to this animal. And you can also be attracted to like hum human beings, right? But if you're having a human being acting as an animal, they are still a human being. So if you're attracted to that person acting as an animal, you're still attracted to a person or you're attracted to a person who's displaying animalistic qualities. Mm. That is different from being like sexually attracted or romantically attracted to a biological animal. How did you know that you wanted to become a handler and not the pup? I really thought that I was gonna have a pet space because I love dogs. I've always loved dogs. Um, and this is actually like the first time since eight years old that I don't have a bio dog. Oh, okay. Yeah, I recently had to, it was time, my oldest dog passed oh. uh, in March. So um, I, yeah, I thought when I first learned about pet play, I was like, this is cool. And, that, and then I was like, oh, I must be a dog. I know so much about dogs. And um, I was just like, it's not there. That headspace is not there. But my love for bio dogs just transferred right over to human dogs. And I just love it. Like, it's so fun. And like, the coolest thing, like, for me right now is that like, I'm taking a break from bio dogs because I'm a student, I want to travel. It's hard to do that when you have pets, especially a dog. Um, it's so awesome because like having Garnet is a dog, like he goes home. <laughs> you right, know what I mean? right, right, right. Like, it's so, it's so great. Honestly, a lot of it feels the same. That like urge and desire to like buy your dog stuff, it feels exactly the same as it does with a bio dog. The urge to like get them the comfiest bed is like, it's, that's all the same. Um, so yeah, like the more that I saw human pets and pups in particular, I was just like, oh, I really like this. I want to pet them all and I want to have my own one day. Are you friends with Garnet out of dog? Like, do you guys ever hang out? Yeah, we're in a relationship. So like, you are a part of my life. So like... I want you at my graduation party. I want you at my wedding. I want you at anything where like, even if it's a vanilla setting, cause I have vanilla friends and family. So it's just like, well, I want you there too. And do, they, do these vanilla friends and family know who he is in your life? Yes, but they also aren't consenting to like seeing him as a pet. Mm -hmm. So it's like, that's why it's important for me to like our relationship to also extend outside of pet play because it's like, for example, my, like my graduation party, it's like, you're coming as a as a human mm -hmm. like because you know my vanilla people are also here and mm -hmm. they're not signing up for that and we respect that mm -hmm. so like you're just coming as like one of my partners right our training that we've been focusing on recently has been on like behavioral training mm -hmm. um because we kind of wanted to start as if like if she were to get a puppy mm -hmm. and it's kind of like how okay so she now has this puppy what do you do with this puppy you have to teach it, you know, basic commands, which I knew in, I knew come, I knew it, I knew coming in like sit, lay down, yeah, stay, yeah. Like, all those things. Um, but more so like how she wants me to behave when I'm in her presence. Yeah. Got it. So do you have an age? Like is, is your puppy an age? I uh, we've always been like, like puppy to teenage puppy. <laughs> Got it. Which is yeah. I think like one, one years old, probably yeah. within that. Range. Yeah, cause you're golden and as a large dog, like large dogs don't fully mature until like two or two and a half years old. Yeah, so one year old is like, yeah, I think that is perfect. He is old enough to where his attention span is longer and he's super smart and he picks up on things very quickly and he wants to please, which is also really helpful Aww. with training. So like he, his like everything is like for me to be like, good boy and get so excited cause he did it right. And he's like, fuck yeah. Like, you know, as, but like as dog. Um, so, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, so he's like young enough to still be like silly and like, oh, yeah. I'm a puppy. Yeah. I'm gonna push the ice dispenser. Um, but old enough where, you know, he can like retain training and like not just be like squirrel. 
So you're a golden retriever? Yes. yes. Got it. Okay, yes. perfect. Yes. Love. Um, I love a golden retriever. Yeah, good boy. He's so good. Like, I, just, I just hold the hood up and he shoves his face in it. He good boy. Does <laughs> do my ears look okay? Perfect. And would you tighten this, please? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Life is so stressful. Mm -hmm. Being an adult is very stressful. Um, I have a full-time job, and I have to pay rent, and I drive, and I have a family, and you know, there's like just those normal things that you have to take care of. But dogs don't have those things. They don't usually have those responsibilities. They just get to let their owner, their human, take care of them, and they just kind of get to go about their life day to day, however they see best and however their human sees fit. And that is incredibly relaxing. We would all just love to be a dog. You look at your dog and say, oh, you have the life. Yes, it's chilling. Just chilling, sunbathing, yes. laying on their dog bed. Not a care in the world. Not a care in the world. I want that. So <laughs> I want not a care in the world. So when I am in that headspace, I don't have a care in the world. I'm not thinking about my job or my patients or my family. I'm thinking about what it's like to, to be Garnet and what it's like just to be a dog and to play and get belly rubs and get lots of attention. Um, and it's just the best. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, oh, 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 oh. he's a good boy. He's so good, he's so good, he's so cute. Oh, oh, oh. I've been studying quad aerobics to be able to achieve a more realistic canine body movement and behavior. That's really what I'm chasing after is that more authentic, canine experience. Oh, so cute! So cute! Ooh, that's a big dog! That's a big dog ready for toys! Huh? 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 Good boy! Oh, that's a little treat! Depending on what day it is, mm -hmm. that determines like what his favorite toy is going to be. It changes. The BDSM can also be like dark dungeons and chains and whips and all those things too, which I also love. Oh. But the pet play that I do is fun and wild and free and weird and silly and wholesome. And it's, you know, it's lots of different things, but it's not harmful to me. It's not harmful to my partners. We're all very enthusiastic about what we do. Yay, good boy. Good boy. Can we talk about you telling your family that you're a pup and how they reacted? Totally. I'm just so fascinated with that because I don't even know, I can't even begin to think how my parents would respond if I told them that. I am a dog. <laughs> yeah, like they would just be confused, you know? That's, that's super fair. So it was always really like my, me and my mom growing up. Okay. Um, and my dad was around, but like, People can say like, oh, your dad left. That's why, you know, you're so weird and crazy. And it's like, okay, sure. I, if that's what you want to say. But I mean, in any family dynamic, things are going to shift and be different. But mm -hmm. my mom and her, her husband are polyamorous. Oh. My parents have always had a third partner. My sister's also polyamorous too. It's never been like a pressure thing. It's just always how it's been. Fascinating. And polyamory and BDSM do kind of live closely side by side in relation. So my parents did know an individual who was like living as a woman's cat, like full time in Hawaii. Oh wow. Um, like really random, but they knew, so they, they already kind of knew. Mm -hmm. And so there was, a, there was a part when I was a little older, when I turned 18 and I was gonna be going to a fetish convention and I was talking to my mom about it. And I was like, she's like, so what are you going to do there? Are you just going to like, I don't know, like look around or what are you interested in? And I told her that I was like interested in um, like exploring pet play at the convention. And she was like, oh, like, like our friend, like you want to be a cat? And I'm like, yeah, kind of, but like as a dog. And she's like, oh, that makes sense for you. And I'm like, oh, cat so does. Cute. So your, your family's always been very like progressive and open-minded like that. Also, that's been a great way to keep me safe because, you know, not all parents are going to be as understanding and accepting of those things, even when you are and as a, are as an adult. And that can be very dangerous. Things like what you're doing are extremely important yeah. because people's safety depends on it. Yeah. You hear about people getting groomed and things like that. When I first started, there were definitely situations like that. And I'm glad that I pushed through that because now, now I can see that that's not how it's supposed to be at all. Mm -hmm. Dominance is not about um, how many submissives you have or who you can scare into believing you or doing what you want them to. That's not what it's about. Dominance is about having a loving hand and guiding somebody um, and caring for them and wanting the best yes. for them. 
This has been so amazing and I feel like I learned so much. And every time I have an interview, I feel like I grow as a human being because I just see different facets of life. It's been such an honor meeting you and getting to be on, get to be on your show. Yes, I'm so excited. I want to do a deeper dive into yeah. this community. It's really cool. I would love to be able to create a space to be able to show this off more because it's rad. It's super cool and it's really fun. It's fun. Yeah. That's what I'm going to say. It's a lot of fun. Being an adult and allowing yourself to have fun is something that can be difficult to do. Like having childlike wonder, um, you don't have to stop that. If anything, it's a great time for you to encourage and embrace that in yourself. Beautiful. Thank you so yeah, much. Totally. You're so, so fun. Yeah.